2006, Saskatoon ran the Artists in the Community program after being named the Cultural Capital of Canada. The Immigrant Society took this opportunity to host their own artist in residence in an attempt to communicate the challenges faced by their clients. Well, one has many challenges, many challenges when one arrives. Mainly, the language is a huge barrier. Here, when someone does not speak English and has to learn it here, that already constitutes the biggest barrier when you first arrive. I arrived a year and four months ago here to Saskatoon, and even though I spoke a bit of English, it was not very good English, I had an intermediate social level, as I call it, because I could communicate with people and ask where a street was or how much a product cost in a supermarket, but I did not have a good enough level to have a long conversation with anybody. Therefore, it was a very big challenge. What we found common is the sense of loss, uh, is the sense of loss of family, friendship, uh, networking, uh, it's, feeling, it's the sense of feeling invisible, it's, the, it's feeling discrimination firsthand, it's not learning the language and be judged because of that. We think sometimes uh, our immigrants aren't able to express themselves, especially through, through the language because when they first moved to, to a country like Canada, their main barrier is the language. This is the first challenge that one has, and the other challenge that one has is the difference in the culture. One brings that warmth and affection, the hugs, the kisses, the jumps and the screams, and has a lot of energy. But that is not the way Canadians are. They are calmer, softer, and give less hugs and less physical contact. However, they are also beautiful people. They are very nice people, but there is a little bit of that that I miss a lot, the hugs and the physical contact. I think that those are the greatest challenges, the language and what makes people be who they really are. When I live in the United States, a little hard for find a job, but I think when I go to Canada, um, I have a dream by a new, a really good car. I'm, I'm thinking, find really nice job, and, and my husband too. But uh, when I came here and applied for my teacher license, uh, the people answered me, need to go to the university again. I say, why? Because why in, in the United States I apply and give me my professional teacher license. Of course, because I can speak Spanish there. But here, is, the people say, because need a, um, because my high school is only 11, 11 grades, and here I need 12, but I have an, a nice uh, grades in the university, and why know how about the grades? And, and then I try to find a job, and I need to do any kind of job, and I feel a little sad about that, but I can do it still at the moment. I do really, a job is really not really good for me, but. Is the, I understand is the life. Challenges, one is loneliness, because you don't know anybody. And um, the language, you know, that's pretty basic, you know, that, that if you, I didn't speak English. And, and loneliness, I could say, because even if you don't speak the language, you can communicate, like I am someone who communicates with my hands. And then here is not like that. People is like this, and I'm kind of like this now because I've been told not to move my hands here. Um, so loneliness. Uh, so this program helps a lot to break the loneliness. Even you are going to English classes or working. Uh, people at work, my experience is that are working. You know, there's not a place to go and make friends or. 
And of course, you may make some, but through the years. So here, that's the main thing. In community, you know, we are like a family here, and it, it's felt that way. And, and, and those boundaries of, of different countries, of different nationalities, is gone. Here we are people. And as people, we just come together and gather and, and, and work through all this together. When we work on our projects, basically, we, I don't want them to copy from books. I don't want them uh, to, to tell me what is meaningless. Uh, I ask them to go inside themselves and put in, in, in their art what they need to say because they feel that they don't have a voice and this is an opportunity for them to have a voice. In my resident has been very excited since the beginning. We started in, in preparation with the board meetings and, and decide what programs will be more convenient for the clientele that we have. And when we finish uh, that stage, we move into the operational part of the program and we uh, recruited uh, the participants from the different three organizations, the Mennonite Central Committee, the Global Gathering Place, which is the host, and Saskatoon Open Door Society, which are the three organizations of the partnership. The Saturday program, which is the, the one that had been uh, more, more uh, recurrent and, and comes every, every, every week. They've been very committed to come every week here and on Saturdays. Early in the morning, even in those cold days in the winter, and, and we've been working in, in in instructing them and I've been facilitating them a way of, of express their emotions in, in, in the art. <laughs> My name is Miriam Estrada. Originally I am from Colombia. Um, I came here three years ago. Um, and when I came uh, to the Global Gathering uh, for the arts program, um, I feel so happy because one day Erlinda called me, Miriam, uh, do you like uh, uh, art? I said, of course I like because I like craft, I like painting and fabric. When I came here, I feel so happy because the class is like relax, relax um, and I can express my, I don't know, something I have inside me. Like, and I have taken one time uh, watercolor but the quietness, I couldn't stand it. <laughs> and I went with a friend, a Canadian friend, and, and we were both all the time talking. But uh, I learned a little bit, but I couldn't express myself because it was very directed. And he was a great teacher, but there were many words in English that I didn't understand. I didn't feel like I was enjoying it. And here we enjoy ourselves, I guess. We joke around. We sometimes see if someone it's going through some difficult thing we share and cry and it's what it is. This has been a very interesting multicultural project, or Latin American actually, because every Saturday morning that we have met here, there has been people from different countries of Latin America. So it has been a very rich multicultural encounter. I have been enriched a lot with this process. Uh, speak anything. And it's relaxing, don't care about it's good thing or bad thing, and, but everybody laughing. What is the word? Yes. Laughing and, and sharing food for our countries. And I don't, it's really, I told one friend from Colombia, she's a little, sometimes she's under stress, and I told her, why you came here? It's the morning, just relax and relax. And, uh, you know, I, sometimes I need to do something at home, but I say, no, sorry, I need to go to my arts class for nothing lose this class, because Alejandro and my friends are really nice. Everybody enjoy the time. Well, the sense of community has, has been built since day one, and basically I have the honor that uh, I can facilitate the workshops in Spanish and remind me of home and build a sense of community among them. We have cried together, we laughed together, we bonded so strong that uh, even out of classes they meet once a week to, to work on their own projects.
The best part of my residency has been many, but I, I believe it's just uh, growing my family and discovering that home is in the heart. Home is where you are, uh, and also home is the place, that special place in, in your heart where you uh, have that happiness feeling, that joy, contentment of, of being with yourself and finding that is, uh, is, is been the most fantastic thing for me. So they find that uh, spark inside them and, and they got really motivated and, and they've been working since, not since believing that they couldn't do anything, that belief changed and they transform it and, and inside themselves occur a transformation that has been beautiful. Que, I have learned a lot from them. Esto se podía hacer una, una técnica con esto, o que esto no me gusta. Oh, I learned that I am an artist because I didn't know before. It's been a wonderful experience because people have been able to bond together and also open up. Um, some of these clients back in their home countries that weren't able to express themselves and because of the difficulties of where they came from, um, they didn't have the freedom to, to express themselves. And they've been able to do that through art and open up and share a little bit of their lives and their struggles, um, not only back home, but also here through the whole process uh, of adjusting to, to the new culture. And uh, yeah, it has been a wonderful bonding experience for them. Uh, because my husband came for a PhD. When he finished uh, thinking in back to our country, but our country is a little dangerous about gorillas, paramilitares, and my husband and me doesn't want to write our, I have two sons, our sons in, in my country, because a lot of violence, and my hometown is really, really small, and every day kill young children, 15 to 25 years, every day, two, three uh, child uh, was killed for gorillas, gorillas killed paramilitares, and then decide to uh, move to the other country and thinking in Canada. My husband applied in Canada, say, okay. My, what I am learning here is helping me to express myself, my feelings about when I came here, because my paintings are related to that, and who I am, and who I was, who I am right now, and probably some of my challenges and pain and emotions. It is as if all those feelings that you have inside come to flourish in this artistic process, and you discover abilities that you did not know or that did not think that you really had. Art is, is a wonderful way for them to, to do that, to express what their feelings are, to express um, their frustrations, to express their excitement about all the things that are going through. So art uh, for us is, it has been a wonderful way to, of communication. So that has helped me in this class, to, to express that artist that was inside of me. It's just, I, I have fun with it, you know. I, my expectation is not that I'm going to be an artist putting stuff there, but maybe, I don't know, who knows? As long as it's good for my spirit, it's what it is. I remember I told him, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, someday I will have my paintings in, at the Mendel, and you know, this is happening.
away for the time Oh, my blues away, my blues away It's quite challenging because art is not easy and it's discovering, it's allowing everybody to discover that how we do art is how we manage our life. By opening our doors and showing to them, to the community, what our clients have, have done, all the, all the different artwork that they're prepared over this period of time, um, we're creating some community and people can understand better what the immigrants are going through. Having projects like this, um, offer to, to them, it definitely gives um, our clients the opportunity to engage themselves in, in all different types of things that they could discover themselves and, and get to know themselves better and at the same time get to know other, other people that are in, going through the same process and feel that they are not alone in this process of, of being a newcomer in Canada but also um, having to, to share it with other people and, and Global Gathering is here to has been here and the other organizations as supporters of, of that process. The more surprising part of my residency have, has been the talking about the project and, and the opportunities that have brought for everybody. You know, having this opportunity to exhibit in the, in the Mendel Art Gallery, having the opportunity to, to, to see how, how doors have been opened, not only for me, for a lot of people, and people are talking in the community about, about how necessary are these projects and the understanding of, of art a little bit more. People come here for reasons and it's important to step out, to step out and, and put yourself in a, in a position of challenge, a position that challenge your beliefs, that challenge your, your core as a human being uh, because that will allow the person to grow. It will allow you to look inside and find answers and we, have, we all have the answers. And, that's the beauty of art. Explore art and use art as your tool to express what you have inside and, and communicate your emotions.